Hey, what's up, guys? And in this video, we're going to be talking about the bosses for the Cavalier difficulty. So I'm going to show you just how to beat them all with four stars because one of the objectives, the Cavalier level difficulty or legendary difficulty objective, whatever it's called, is to beat every quest in the Cavalier difficulty with all four stars. This first run, you might have seen, I had six stars and five stars because I was wondering if it was just the boss because I didn't really clarify it. But it didn't work, so I had to re-go into it. But I still got the recording of this one shot, so I just used this one. But I had to go back and redo it with four stars. But so you have to do all the quests with four stars to get the ten percent tier five CC crystal. I already got it. I was working on it today. It was actually really fun to use four stars. Um, it was a good challenge. It wasn't that bad. Like people were crying and saying it was gonna be horrible. It really wasn't that bad. So for this first fight, Warlock, I'm not going to tell you how to get to the bosses. You can figure that out on yourself. If you're Cavalier difficulty, you probably can't figure it out on yourself. But for the bosses, I understand it might be a little bit challenging. For this first boss, you would want to use Medusa. Now, I started this fight um, kind of badly because I let him get to one bar of power before throwing a special two, uh, special three. I should have let him throw it, then throw my special three. Because I can't go for backdrafts right now because I'm worried he's going to throw a special one. So I have to wait for that. And I can't play as fast so I might not be able to refresh the armor um, shatter. But he finally shot it. So we evaded. We got a hit. But Medusa being the best character in the game she is. Auto blocked it and saved my life. I got two one shots in this fight. One with this one. And then the second one with the actual four star team I brought in. Both with Medusa in both fights. <laughs> I got saved by the auto block one time. So it feels good. This Warlock basically is just a big-ass Warlock. I don't know what the nodes are. I think it's if Empowered Immunity. So yeah, he's getting power because I'm putting bleeds on him. But since I have the Armor Shatter and I shut down robots, he's not getting the power. But you can see on the right, he keeps getting power gain. I mean, I don't know why you'd bring like a Bleed or Poison character into this fight in the first place. So I don't think you got to be too worried about that node. And then there's a few other things. But it's basically just bring Medusa Simulator if you want to actually um make this clean. Because big warlocks, especially when you run suicides and willpower, are very scary to run into. So, right here at parry, so I can get the stun. So that I can come out of um, special 3 swinging. And he's almost down. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the first boss done with. He should be dead any second. So yeah, first boss, dead. Second boss, uh, <laughs> funny enough, is Medusa. This f fight, I... um. As you saw again, I didn't have a full four-star team. This I, I recorded this fight last because I did go through it with a full four-star team and I did get the kill. I got the one shot with Human Torch, but I wasn't recording, so I had to go through all the other quests and then re-go back into this one to get another four-star one shot. I mean, it doesn't have to be a one shot, but it just has to use a four-star just to show you. And instead of bringing Human Torch this time, I brought Scarlet Witch. So. Just because I wanted to whip out the Scarlet Witch. I haven't used Scarlet Witch in so long. This is a Medusa with um, Oscillate. And this is one of the nodes. I just can't remember what it is. It's Oscillate and something else. It's basically just a big Medusa with Oscillate. That's the only important node, I'm pretty sure. So, I just bought Medu um, Scarlet Witch. She's only like high level Mystic I have. As a 4 star at least. I have Magic and Doctor Voodoo. But they're both kind of shit. I mean, not just not shit, but like I'm saying for like damage, like crazy damage output. Um, not the highest damage outputters in the game. Especially Dr. Voodoo since it's Medusa and you can't even poison. But And I also just wanted to whip out the Scarlet Witch. I haven't used her in like fucking years. So I was like, you know what? And she can nullify the Furies and Medusa. Why not? I'll just whip her out. I haven't used her in a long time. Um, so yeah, just fun with Scarlet Witch. As you can see, this fight... Um, this is the quest with the, um, you have to have three debuffs on them. Human Torch as a four star is really good for this. Captain America Infinity War. Um, take the path with life transfer so then all your characters can be 100% health. That's what I did. Um, at least with your four star team, that is. If you want to go for the thing. Um, so that's definitely the path to go for. But once again, if you're Cavalier, you probably already know that by looking at the paths. So I shouldn't have to tell you that. But definitely the path that I took. Human Torch made it very easy. Um, I never actually used, I had a maxed out Human Torch for the Deadpool in Abyss when I was doing it, 
But other than that, I've never really used Tuma Torch because I don't have a 5 or 6 star. And that was my first time using him as like a 4 star. And holy shit, I see why there's so much hype on this dude. Just as a 4 star when I was going through this, he was fucking raping, dude. There was this Doom boss with like 150,000 health. I'm pretty sure every fight has like 200 to 300,000 health. But this Doom was lowered because I think they realized Doom's not a fun character. And Human Torch just destroyed him. Also, we got too much power gain here. and got a special 3. But... This fight's almost over, so yeah. Scarlet Witch making quick work, quick work of Medusa. Um, actually, not that quick, but I got to use Scarlet Witch again. See where she was at damage wise compared to other God Mystics, because I haven't used her in the literal years. So I was just curious. Um, Osley is one of the most hated nodes in the game for me at least, because it makes fights either it makes big fights like fights like these aren't that bad, but like Act Six Point Four Osley. The hit into your block once and you do like 15,000 damage. It's not fun. So she's dead in 3, 2, 1. Funny enough, um, we used Medusa to kill the first boss. And then we fight a Medusa boss with Scarlet Witch. And now we're fighting a Scarlet Witch boss. So for this bot, boss, this is like one of my first few times using Human Torch um, for like a big fight. As a 4 star, I wonder what he would do. Especially since it was against a Mystic Champ. And dude, he just shreds this fight. I think it's very close towards the end. But this is a Scarlet Witch with crazy crit resistance and Footloose, as you can see. And Human Torch, just big dick boy. I would have had a lot more health in a lot of these fights, actually, also, if I didn't run Suicides. But Suicide is just too good to take off, because there's so, there's just so much damage. So, um, this Scarlet Witch, I'm pretty sure I get the one shot. Um, you know, it's weird, though. I just realized, I don't think I activated my pre-fight, which is kind of weird. Um, considering it's a final boss. Yeah, but once again, I was new with Human Torch in the beginning of this event, so I really didn't know what I was doing. But Human Torch is so good. Um, he was also so good for the next boss, you'll see. I didn't realize. I Human Torch is so... Like, after using him as a 4-star to go through these quests, I want a 5... Or not really a 5-star. I want a 6-star so badly, dude. The 6-star is so... Like, I just... He's so good for, like, so much random shit you didn't think about. But, well, at least if you don't have him. Like, for me, there's so much shit he's good at that I wasn't even thinking about. Um, so, right here, we are coming back. We've got a shit ton of smolders. Um, my incinerate, even as a four star, a ticking for big damage. I mean, if this was a six star, this fight would have just gone rinsed so quickly. Um, Medusa, uh, Scarlet Witch also has some weird power gain in this fight. I didn't really read the node fully because I couldn't be asked, to be honest. So, there is some weird power gain. Read it for yourself. I don't really know. It didn't really get me killed. Actually, it got me killed, like... A minute ago because i was exploring before i started recording this so yeah i actually did get me killed like about two minutes before i started recording so right here she's dead next we got professor x and this fight um was my second time doing it and ghost is really good for this fight i found but also human torch also that intro screen where he like looks at his mask the first time i saw that i thought i lagged out and he like that was like his winning screen animation so that might throw you off also, he makes, like, the background look cool as fuck. Like, these month's characters are actually, like, so sick. Um, Professor X's special one is really easy to dodge. The hands, you just have to be out of range, kind of like Mephisto. You don't even really have to even dodge him. Um, you're going to see me pause. Oh, and I think I get slapped here. You're going to see me pause a lot after the special ones. Because normally I like to let them charge me after they throw a special. So I can um, intercept. But he stands there for so long in his animation that it threw me off. Because I wasn't used to characters doing that. But right here, we launched a special too, and I'm pretty sure I died, yep, because <laughs> I didn't have a watch on the team, I didn't realize. So I was like, you know what, let me try Human Torch, Human Torch, MVP for most things. I remember to put it in the pre-fight. Um, this is the quest you want to bring Hyperion for, just to clear everything. He's pretty much like the best character for this path. You'll see if you read the global node for Cosmics. Um, but Human Torch, so also, Professor X has this node. Um, I don't even know if it's a node, I think it's just part of his kit. Where he, like, you, you miss, like, every, I don't know how many hits, like, every 10 seconds, and then it goes in, like, a 20-second cooldown, I think you can see in the top right. And, um, Human Torch, uh, when I was playing, I realized, I, I'm pretty sure I remember, because I didn't play Human Torch, but I've seen YouTube videos, and I'm pretty sure I remember someone saying, probably Legacy, because, uh, because he plays the most Torch. I remember Legacy saying something like, he can't be missed above a certain temperature, and I think think it's 10 but i don't know 10 or 20 15 one of those i think it might be 10 but i could be wrong once again i really don't know but 
I remembered that fact, and I it was just so good. Also, Professor X's hits are energy based. I'm pretty sure. So that made this fight like just a hundred times easier. That I didn't realize his fights were energy based. So I was just building Smolder. It was just it's such a good time. Human Torch is so good, dude. Doing this event makes me really want to get him as a six star. Um, really bad because not really a five star because five stars are kind of dead. Also, I'm close to getting a science tier five CC and I have no good options. And I would gladly rank three as six star Torch because he's. After playing him as a four star, I've just realized. Like, I already knew his value was insane from watching shit from the Abyss, but I've never actually got to, like, feel it firsthand for myself, and he's just a fucking monster, dude. Against anyone that's, like, mystic or energy attacks, anything like that, he just destroys them. It's not even, like, a joke. So, yeah, Professor X down from Torch. Next, we got Magic. So, this is a hard Magic. It has Buffet. It's, like, 400k, 300k slime. And, um, it has Special Inversion, which means when it throws Specials, your controls are inverted, and this really throws me off. I think I die really quickly in this fight. I thought I missed my heavy, but um, yeah. Also, the limbo does a crap ton of damage to four stars, especially. But yeah, I died. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. But bang Archangel and Archangel claps cheeks. I'm pretty sure I survived this fight with like literally 0.1% health or some dumb shit like that. The, the, the scary part is just her the only thing that could really kill you in this fight if you're using like Archangel or some ability accuracy can't champion is um the special inversion see I dodged it there but I'm pretty sure I get hit with it in this fight and that's why I go down to like 1% it's scary dude yeah, I'm, I haven't done inverted control since Act 6 and Act 6 was a long ass time ago so I was rusty as fuck um if you want to know what team to bring for like um the four stars just for like questing in general i found except for the hyperion chapter we have to bring hyperion i found just bringing archangel full ghost energy and um human torch those three alone and then ghost synergies are just good enough for um, i think every quest except for the hyperion one where you need to use hyperion to clear it because hyperion is a beast for it um so yeah i mean i i, I um those are the three characters archangel Ghost, Wasp Hood, and Human Torch. If you got those champs, you should be good for a full um, four-star clear. Um, they're really good characters. <laughs> uh, this um, event made me appreciate Human Torch so much more. So right now I'm at, like, what, 2% health, and I'm using my special three just so I can get that long-ass stun so I can just guarantee kill her. Um, with my entire four-star adventures, in Cavalier difficulty, I only think I used four or five revives. And I think like three of them are on this Apocalypse fight. So right here for Apocalypse, just bring full Ghost Energy team, literally like Ant-Man 2 for extra damage. And the reason for that is Ghost is insane for this fight because it basically is, I don't know what the nodes are because I didn't pay that much attention. The nodes don't really seem to affect anything. But there is one node that's if you intercept, you do like 500% damage for like a few seconds. So I put on a tech power boost and then with Ghost, you can just do the Ghost intercepts, which was right when they hit into your phase, you just hit them really quickly, which you'll see me doing the fight, which is like a cheese intercept. It's not really an intercept, but it counts as an intercept. So, I mean, that's even more utility for Ghost, the fact that she can do intercepts without really like trying. Um, she's just so good. You're gonna see, I'm trying to build power here because I've done this fight. Um, actually, uh, towards the end, I started to build more power, but look, you can see the Fury from intercepting. So I'm doing like 500% damage. Look, a four star Ghost with the like, I. <laughs> With like an 80k special 2. Right here, I think I get wrecked. It was my first time ever trying to dodge that special 2, and I got fucking my cheeks assembled, but a reassembled. Uh, but Apocalypse and Professor X are both looking sick as fuck. I think I got absolutely destroyed with Archangel here, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, the stun fail. I think there might be some chance for stuns to fail or something, because I just assumed it would proc, so I went for the heavy, and I just got slapped. So right here, I think I just use some 60% revives. Because I had a few in the overflow, and I wanted to get rid of those so I wouldn't waste them. In case you're wondering why I'm using 60%. So I think um, I'm starting to realize I want to build more power. Because I think I realized in this moment that both specials that he throws pretty much through my block also just basically kills me. It, it does a lot of my health, so I just have to like... I just have to try to do damage from my special twos. And I think I fucked this up too. I try to evade out of it to take less block damage, trying to be cheap instead of just blocking the full thing. 
and I get slapped for it. Um, cause this is, yeah, once again, like I didn't have any practice on this guy's specials. Um, so I think this is the last try. I think this is, um, yeah, this is where I start to realize just build power cause his specials are pretty much the block damage and just the damage in general is just devastating. So I just had to go for this strat. Um, Ghost does so much damage. I think in this fight also, I push him to a special three to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, right here I baited a heavy so I could get more power so that my power boost could hopefully get me to another special two, but it didn't. But right here I phased like last second and this is my first time seeing a special three. So I was like, you know what? About to be finished with this fight. Might as well see a special three. He puts you in the quicksand and then just fucking shits on you. This is actually like the sickest special three I've ever seen. But then I got out and special too, and he's dead. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go like, comment, subscribe. All the four star takedowns of bosses. So yeah, um, like, comment, subscribe, all that. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.